Hi, this is Abigail Joy with I Am Marketing. I have Halsey Miner. He is the founder for VideoCoin Network. So your companies have created over $110 billion. So one of them was Google Voice. How do you think that voice is going to affect the future? Well, I think, I think, I think most of the innovation actually in voice has already been done. I don't think that's actually an area where you know, the world's going to see significantly more innovation. I mean, yeah. there's video, there's voice. I, I don't know what, what else. I guess the next thing would be people living in VR. But, okay. but, uh, but I don't think there's a lot of innovation left in voice. Okay, so you think that we've kind of reached <clears throat> the peak for voice um, regarding maybe like podcasts and stuff like that? Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, there's media. Yeah. You know, I mean, I started and built CNET into a you know, large media company, and we had you know, voice because we had TV shows and other right, stuff. But, right, right. but I, don't, I don't really see there being anything okay. really innovative about okay. voice. Interesting. So um, expand then. I know that you have VideoCoin Network. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, so, so what the VideoCoin Network does is replace Amazon Web Services, Google, and to a lesser extent, Microsoft, their services that encode, store, and stream video. Encoding is a fancy word for compress. So when you get a video down to your phone, yeah. it's been compressed and then it's decompressed, and those are called encoders. Okay. And it, video takes a lot of processing power, believe it or not. So instead of using a single data center, you know, which is what a Amazon does or Google does, uh, instead we use data centers all around the world that are using what are called zombie servers. And these are servers that, that aren't being used. There's like 50% of servers wow. are being used, 20% are for overflow, and 30% are called zombies. They're never used. So that's wow. thir $30 billion in hardware they can all run on the video coin network it's completely unused wow that's crazy i didn't know there was so much that was just stagnant like that yeah I mean, interesting you type in zombie servers you'll see it's unbelievable wow. and it's actually grown since 2015 I'm ironically look enough that. really yeah. okay um, so tell me a little bit about your team video coin yeah i mean you know we have a bunch of uh, great ad advisors um, uh, hano basse for instance is uh, head of um, uh, he's a CTO for 20th Century Fox. Nice. Um, and then, you know, in terms of interesting people on our team, uh, Debbie Degat is our CTO. He actually built Intel's video streaming cloud. Wow. Um, Intel decided to spin it out because they were competing with Amazon and right. Google and, streaming, you know, yeah. yeah, and streaming. Um, so it was sold to Facebook. So when you wow. all of a sudden started getting video in Facebook, it's because they bought oh. what Debbie built. So, okay. so Dev is one of the few people in the last 10 years who's actually built a video streaming cloud. Wow. So we're using his experience um, in video, my experience in crypto, he's actually now very experienced as well, nice. to create a completely different model. It's like Uber and Airbnb, just complete commoditization of all of the hardware that's right. needed to deliver video. So decentralized on the blockchain. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, the decentralization part is not, it's not, like, a, it's not like a moral obligation. It's that's right. how we use all of these resources that aren't sitting in a data center but are otherwise being used. Very interesting. So decentralization okay. is a, it's an architectural strategy. Okay, very nice. Oh, well, where are you guys based at the moment? So we have a bunch of developers in, uh, we have a bunch of developers in the Valley, so most of them are. We've got them in Russia and, uh, and in Germany. Okay, so you're kind of all over. Are you planning Predominantly on... in the Valley. Okay, are you planning on it spreading out to different markets? Yes, I mean, I think we will, uh, continue to grow outside of the valley. Yeah. It's very disruptive to be in the valley right now. Really? The uh, the cost of developers is astronomical, and it's yeah. not. And, and the problem is, even though they're getting paid a ton of money, they they can't afford housing. So it's a yeah. it, it's a very. If you look at the cover of uh, the Economist this week, it talks about how the the valley is basically sort of done for startups. It's just too hard to find people. It's too hard to keep them. Yeah. Companies like Google will pay a fortune wow. and all your engineers walk out the door. Where do you think is the next place? Okay. I, I think there are many places. I mean, yeah. you know, there are a lot of places around the world. Uh, I started right. uh, Uphold, which is the, um, uh, which is the, the payments. Uh, it's, it's a Coinbase competitor, but, but smaller. Okay. Um, and what is that called? It's called Uphold. Uphold. It's one of a very small number of services that allow you to connect your, your U.S., U.K., and EU bank account nice. and, buy, and buy crypto. Okay, so I think I've seen it actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started in 2013, ran until 2015. Very nice. Um, yeah, no, they've done great. And, um, yep. um, and all of my engineers are in Braga, Portugal. Okay. Very so, nice. so they have 20 some engineers there. So you, yeah. there are a lot of places all around over. the world. Yeah. Right, right. And at the conference even, there's people from all over the place all over. and it's great. Yeah, to you don't need learn. to hire in Silicon Valley, that's the point. Yeah, you don't really. Yeah. Um, and then I know that you have a great uh, view on what's going to happen next on the internet. You've, um, in the past, you've said 
you know, what's going to happen next, and you're, you're involved with a lot of pro prominent companies. So what do you think is next for uh, the Internet? Do you think that we're going to just completely stop using um, television and uh, stuff like that? We're just going to completely go to social media? What do, what do you think? Well, I mean, are you talking about in terms of the blockchain? And yeah, what, what yeah, in do? terms of blockchain and just like the internet in general. Cause, well, the internet, yeah. innovation is basically dead right now on the internet. And really? it's dead because you've got a bunch of big companies, Fang, um, who are incredibly dominant and mm -hmm. it's very hard to find sort of new niches. It's, okay. it's, a, it's kind of an unfortunate chapter, I think, yeah. um, in the internet. The blockchain, however, is completely outside of their right. their world. Yeah, right? so that's it, true. It, so it's creating a um, it's creating a, a new platform for innovation yeah. where these guys aren't the dominant player. But what I really think is going to happen is we're going to go from blockchain being about ICOs and new companies yeah. to blockchain being a tool for uh, making the enterprise um, uh, operate better and more efficiently. It's going to go from right. All these new companies, which are supposed to replace all the existing companies, to to a tool to make existing companies better. So Halsey, is there somewhere that our viewers can go to learn more about VideoCoin? Yes, they can go to VideoCoin.io. It has all the information about our project. Awesome. Thank you so much for interviewing with me today. Thanks for having me. Bye, guys.